Hey guys, welcome back to another solar video. About 10 years ago, I was looking for a really good folding solar panel, and that's when I came across this Brunton Solaris 26. It's designed to fit right in your backpack, very easy to carry around, and waterproof. Now, of course, it's waterproof on the side facing up where the sun's going to hit, and this control box where the 12 volt output is, is underneath. The solar panel was not cheap. I think I spent around $400 for this panel. This is the same type of a panel that was used by a lot of military personnel in the Middle East to power and charge their phones, laptops, as well as radios. This is a thin film panel and it's very flexible. I'm going to open this in a minute to show you. It's a CIGS solar panel, which is copper, indium, gallium, selenide. And that's how the cells were deposited onto this material. Let me unfold this so you can see exactly what it looks like so we'll be able to compare it to this newer solar panel that's only a fraction of the cost. Okay, let me pop this one open. Just keep unfolding it. And right here, you can see the entire panel now. With this panel unfolded, you can see it's made up of eight different sections where the film was deposited onto the material. And then you have that waterproof coating that was applied over top. Because this panel is much older, it only has an efficiency of around 15 or 16 percent. But the panel does work extremely well in lower light conditions. This panel can be bended a lot, but of course you just can't fold it and make a crease. So you can roll it like this. It's not going to hurt it, which is very good. So even though this is a good panel and the rating is fairly close to the rated output, it says 26 watts, I find it to be more like 21 watts, $400 for this type of a panel is just way too much money. So when I got an email from this company right here, PW Pam, saying that they have a 21 watt solar charger, that's USB, 5 volts, it has high efficiency cells, around 21%, and the panel is waterproof, and it sells for only around 50 bucks, I said, you know what, send it to me and let me test it out. Now, just to let you know beforehand, I did tell the company I'm going to be carefully testing this out, and if I find anything wrong, my viewers are going to know about it. So let me open this up, let's take a look at it, and then we're going to take this outside and put it to the test. Now right over here on this plastic box, which is glued to the back side of this panel, there's a power indicator when you place this in the sun, it's going to illuminate, letting you know the circuit is powered up. There's a USB Type-C, and there's two USB Type-A's. The maximum power output for each port is 3 amps. Now right over here, the specifications, model PW21, peak power 5 volts, 21 watts. Maximum output per port is 5 volts, 3 amps. Folded dimensions, extremely small, 11.4 inches by 7.7 .7 inches by 1.2 inch. And the dimensions unfolded are 22.8 inches, 11.4 by 0 0.08 inch. The weight of this, 610 grams. You can see on the corner, there's these openings to tie down. And the material is very strong material. The flexibility is all in between. All right, very easy. There's very little flexibility on these areas right here. And this material that's on top is ETFE known as ethylene tetrafluoroethylene. They also include with the panel a couple of these clips that you can use to secure the panel. Now upon careful inspection, the panel appears to be made very well. Does the power output actually match what the manufacturer states? We're going to find out in this video. Everything looks fine here. Let me give you a much closer look. And here you can see the entire panel, very nicely designed. It's a beautiful sunny day. So far I like what I see with this panel, but I can't tell you if I really like it until I check the power output. We're going to be taking a look at the USB-C output as well as the USB Type-A output. Let me position this perpendicular to the sun, then we're going to take a Lux reading, then I'll do the power output measurements. The folding solar panel is now positioned perfectly at a 90 degree angle to the sun. Let's take a Lux reading. 80,400 Lux. 
Okay, it's set for one and a quarter amps to start. And the open circuit voltage is 5.2. The panel's been sitting in the sun for about 15 minutes. Let's go back to this and push start. And let's see what's going on at one and a quarter. So 5.2 watts. And it's 4.2 volts. That's a pretty big drop for only one and a quarter amps. So that's not looking too good at all. Let's increase this a hair. Let's make it 1.5. And open circuit voltage is 5.2. Let's push start. And the lux reading is 80,300. 5.8 watts. Look at this, 3.9. That is dropping way too low to be charging things. This is not a good sign. Let me try the USB-C on this to see what the output is. Okay, we're now connected to USB Type-C and we're going to see if we can go higher than one and a half amps. Let's push start. That is seven and a half watts. Five volts, very good. So that's doing much better. Let's increase this to 1.75. Close enough. Let's see what it's doing. And that's 8.5 watts, 4.9 volts, not bad. Let's take this up to 2. Okay, 2 amps. And we're at 9.8 watts. And 4.9 volts. So doing well on USB Type-C. Let's go a little higher. Let's take this up to 2.25. All right, 226. And now 11, almost 11 watts, 10.8, 4.8 volts, very good. Let's increase the 2.5. Up, oh, and we just overloaded it. So right around 2.4 amps, it powers off. So let me back this up again. Let's disconnect and reconnect. So let's, let's lower this down. So if I put it for 2 amps, power it up, it's almost 10 watts, 9.8, 4.9 is fine. So if I slowly keep rotating this to put more power, 208, 10 watts, let's keep going, up, oh, it just went off. So that's around 2.1, 2.2, maybe a little higher, depending on the intensity of sunlight. This turns off. All right, I needed to find out more why this was not supplying power and it was starting to whistle under load. So what I did is I pried this back and you can see the wires, positive and negative. And one thing I did not like, they used hot melt glue instead of a strong adhesive, which was so stupid because this panel was getting hot and I hardly had to twist to get this thing to pop up. So they should have used like a silicone sealant or E6000 to bond that down. So let's take a look to see if the output is any higher if I go directly off the solar panel. Let's give it a try. Okay, we're at 77,500 lux, connected directly to the panel. Voltage is 6.8. Let's power it up at 2 amps. Hopefully it comes in much higher. So far, 10.4 watts, 5.2 volts. Let's increase this to 2.15. Let's see what it is. 10.5, 4.9. Let's try 2.2. 10.5, 4.8, two and a quarter. Now this is starting to drop, and the voltage too. So I hate to say it, but the panel may look good and be made well, but unfortunately the power output is not there. We're only getting just over half the rated output. I was hoping with the control box removed that the panel would have the power, and it was just an issue with the control box, the problem is the panel cannot supply enough power. And guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, 
and share the link to this video on social networking sites. Thank you very much for watching.